this stupid side quest because I thought I did something wrong by clearing it early. I never checked if I was actually wrong for clearing it early. I don't know. I guess we'll have to see. Remember, this was where the um all the bandits were. Now we want to go to the upper floor and there should be a console up there that has some information on it for us so turns out the Asari was actually the the sorry sister was actually um, a traitor was part of that pirate group so yeah she we pretty much did our dirty work for her it's kind of upsetting but I mean if she would have told us we probably would have done the same thing anyway probably would have killed her or at least got her to surrender because Shepard he wants as few casualties as absolutely as deemed necessary so Alright, journal. Alright, hostage. I don't remember doing this. Oh, yeah, this is the, um. The biotics one. Hades Gamma Cluster. I remember that one. That one was actually pretty easy, I think. So we'll go ahead and do that one real quick. Hades Gamma Cluster. There. Oh crap, um, I totally forgot, I think I have my mic still on the push to talk, so all my buttons are messed up. I'll be right back, guys. Perfect. I remember this part was pretty hard, actually. Ready, and we're about to signal him. Intruders, kill the yeah. hostage! Right. Come on, get up, get up, Shepard. Get up, get up. Right here. Come on. I will destroy you. Come here. Alright. You need to get our shields up. Heal Tali. Oh god, I keep getting knocked down. Tali, get up, Tali, get up. Crap. Dang it. Too late. I'm on it. I think I just killed Yeah, I killed myself. I ate every freaking warp. Every biotic ever there. I remember when I actually did this part. I cleared it out in I think 30 seconds. The first time while recording. We get a lot of Omni tools here too. Um, let's see, what is my gear actually? Oh god, yeah, now I remember. Intruders, kill the hostage. We should make haste. See? I fell down again. I will you. 
That puts a damage over time effect on you. So two more guys. Um, I missed. Crap. Dead. No. Dead. Come on, Shepard. There we go. There we go. Get in here. A minute, that's not bad. Taking very little damage. All See right. how it is? You write letters and everyone ignores you. Force is the only thing people appreciate. So how about if I kill Chairman Burns and finish the charade? Please! I was trying to help you people! Calm Let's down. Let's not do anything we're all going to regret. Why not? What have we got to lose? Since the chairman here decided that we didn't get reparations, we've got nothing left to live for. But I've changed my mind. Seeing you all, it, it, it's clear that you all deserve... You had your chance. Some L2s are nearly crippled from side effects of the implants, but you voted against reparations. You need Think him. about this. Burns is the one man who can help you. Yes, if you release me, I can take another look at the reparations request. What? We're supposed to trust you? Sure, you promise us freedom and say everything will be fine, but as soon as we surrender, you'll double-cross us. I'm not promising to let you go. All I'm saying is that Burns will take another look. Right, Burns? Absolutely. I had no idea that the L2 biotics were this desperate. If I'd known, the reparations will come. For whatever it's worth, I promise that. Good. You're right. I don't want to die. Maybe something will happen this time. We surrender. Good. Should have done that before we killed all your people. I thought I was people. dead when they took me. I'll see to it that the reparations discussion is reopened. I didn't know they were so desperate. A fifth fleet cruiser will be by shortly to pick you and the prisoners up. Thank you, Commander. I thought I was dead when they took me. Yeah, I think there was something back here. Yep, and I think there was something... I don't know... Yeah, for some reason I remember there's something being under that. Um, this should be the um, cockpit area. Not much in here normally. We get a lot of armor now. Um, these next couple missions seem to give you a whole crap load of armor for your crew. First aid interface there. That's actually very useful because I think I use first aid interface. Let's see, what do we have? High explosive 2. Let's go with the damage over time there. Yup, um, first aid interface there. Um, Tali, what do you, or Liar, what do you have? I think we. Cooldown bonus? No, we like duration bonuses. Um. There you go. You look good in that. Let's give you some extra, um, protection there. <laughs> Um, yeah, you're on a first aid interface too. Awesome. Nope, everyone calm down. That was that little mission there. We got that all done. I wish I had more water. Okay. Message coming in. Patching it through. Patching it through. 
Thank you for dealing with the hostage situation, Commander. Chairman Burns was quite impressed by the way you resolved the situation peacefully. Your assistance above and beyond the formal duties has been noted, Commander. Fifth fleet out. Okay. Now, where? I don't remember where that Cerberus base is. For some reason, I remember it to be Hawking Ada. And then. Maybe. Message coming in, Commander. Big surprise, the Alliance needs you again. Shepard, this is Admiral Hackett with Alliance Command. We've got a mission for you. An Alliance officer named Major Kyle has set up a small compound in the Hulking Edda cluster. Ah, uh, this is the one they're mine. He's attracted a number of followers, mostly biotics. He's become an outspoken critic of the Alliance, and we believe he's mentally unstable. This could be trouble, Shepard. I'll look into it. Three days ago, we sent two Alliance representatives to meet with him at his compound. They've disappeared. We believe Kyle and his followers killed them. That compound is a cult, Shepard. They call him Father Kyle now. He set himself up as some kind of religious leader. I'll read them. I might be able to end this without violence. That may not be possible, Commander. We don't want a bloodbath, but Kyle is dangerous. I'll trust you to use your judgment. Hack it out. I do believe that he's... No, he's on the moon. See, if there's gonna be a moon, the, you can pretty much always land there. This is another really quick mission. So, I decided on these planets, I'll only do like the main mission area, like there, just because of, um, I think I'll always, I, I'm, I don't have really all the skills required, even though some of them do give a lot of cash, but like, um, I might come back in the future when I have when I'm like near max level or something. Oh god, I hate climbing mountains in this thing because it doesn't want to go up. When I have like all the levels required. So I, I can make sure that I can do it. I hate the Mako. See, I wish the turning was right. Ugh. See, and now I'm gonna fall pretty much all the way down. I hate the Mako! Such a frustrating vehicle. Like, it, if it actually worked the way it should work, I'd be okay with it, but it doesn't. By the way, that looks really good. So I shot it. That's what Americans do when something looks good, they shoot it. Oh my god, see, look. Like that, that that crap. Like, I want to turn right, so I'm, I'm pressing left, because it's in reverse, right? You'd expect it to... And then, oh my god. I heard in the other two games that you don't actually get into vehicles. Few, if any, at all. And, oh my god, am I looking forward to that. Discovery. Yeah, utility shacks. As I recall, there's, like, nothing in these. And I remember, like, this pistol. The pistol that we have, I do believe we got it from, like, the very beginning of the game. It is the most amazing weapon you can get for a while. It's a um I was on Novaria before it can act it was actually I found a better weapon, so though I did find a really good sniper rifle. 
I think uh, in a server in the Cerberus mission up here. So, so I just find like driving around this planet so boring and monotonous. It feels like Assassin's Creed. I don't know why, but I never really liked Assassin. Well, I only played the first one. And I never liked it because it was the same thing for every mission. Same freaking thing. Every freaking location, same thing. Insignia. Area map once again. I don't actually know what that really updates. See, there's there's nothing new. Sorry. So let's actually go to where we plan to go. And let's resolve this issue of this Kyle person. By the way, I I figured out the Mako can really take a beating. So, I guess that's one good thing. Like, I don't actually have to care about the Mako that much. Because it, it could just take a beating. You know, fly off cliffs. Not like end of the world cliffs. But like cliffs like these. No one can survive end of the world cliffs because game devs don't want to add that kind of, oh, you fell down there, you have to go all the way back up. Personally, I would rather just start from a checkpoint than have to go all the way back up, so... Happy for that. Alright, let's not have a bloodbath here. So we want to talk to the person here. You don't want to flip the Mako there, by the way. That, that's probably a bad idea. Oh no. There we go. Good to know. Shift flips the Mako. Back over. I was a little worried there. Alright. Hello? This is a private sanctuary. Outsiders are not welcome here. I need to talk to the man in charge. It's important. Father Kyle wants nothing more to do with the Alliance. I'm here to help. I want this to end peacefully. If he doesn't see me, people could get hurt. We won't let you take Father Kyle away. He protects us. We need him. He needs my help. The Alliance wants someone to pay for those murders. Let me speak to Major Kyle, and maybe I can find some way to help you all get out of this alive. Wait. Father Kyle will speak with you. Good. Get to the building at the far end of the compound. He'll meet you there. Sorry about your tent. Didn't mean to wreck it. And this is how you resolve it peacefully. All these guys have to say is like, praise Father Kyle. Yay. And there's like absolutely no loot in here. So the only way you can really get loot from this is actually like shooting this place up. But I'm not that kind of person. If I could resolve it peacefully, that's what I plan to do. Because one day these people might want to help us, you know? Alright, here we go. I am Major Kyle. I know why you've come. We have no quarrel with you. Why can't you just leave us alone? You killed two Alliance officers. You had to know how this would end. They wanted to take me away from here. They wanted me to abandon this place, turn my back on my family. They spoke blasphemy. I did what I could to make their end quick and painless. I had no other choice. It was necessary to protect my children. 
Only I can keep them safe. The Alliance sent me to bring you in, Major. Can't you see this has gotten out of hand? Don't you understand you're endangering your followers? I respect that you have come under a banner of peace, but I cannot do as you ask. If you take away their father, my children will be helpless. You ordered your followers to kill those Alliance investigators. You must face the consequences of your actions. Do you really want your children to suffer for your sins too? No. This... this was my fault. My children are innocent. Pure. Please. I never meant for this to happen. I... I'm sorry. You're doing the right thing, Major. Your children will be better off for it. Come on. Wait. If my children see you taking me away, they won't understand. They will attack and you will be forced to kill them all. You have shown me the error of my ways, Commander. Now you must give me time to explain it to them. It is the only way they will understand. Okay. Please, give me one hour. After that, I will meet the Alliance authorities at the gates of my compound and surrender without violence. I give you my word. All right. I'm going to trust you. If you betray that trust, you and all your children will suffer. I will not betray you, Commander. Thank you for this. Your pilot can ask a lot. Ready. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to cut her off at all. This is my bad. Hello. Nobody cares about us biotics. We have to look out for each other. For some reason, I don't get why the biotics think they're so special like this. The why did, why would people treat them differently? I I think that they they would get more respect because of their abilities because they can manipulate like more advanced well the different races yeah it makes them different but it also may make them better so pretty cool all right well, let's see let's see if uh, anything changed with the dialogue options here by the way I don't really like Caden we I've talked to him quite a bit now and um He's just a big complainer. Here's you going, herp to derp. What's up, Caden? He's a very level headed guy. But anything you need, Commander? Just trying to get a sense of where the crew's at. I've wasted enough of your Thoughts? time, Commander. I've wasted enough of your time for now, Commander. Yep. We'll have time for personal debriefings later. Alright, goodbye. We'll talk another time, Commander. Alright, nothing new there. Assignments. Cerberus. The Attican Traverse. Seeing Voyager Cluster. The cluster. Okay. Voyager Cluster. Which is all I need to know. And when I um, activate the galaxy map. Joker should have called the Admiral to get this all sorted out. Message coming in. Patching it through. Admiral Hackett here, Commander. Your helmsman just forwarded your report on Major Kyle. We sent in a team as you instructed. Kyle's followers have disbanded, and the Major surrendered to us without incident. We'll make sure he gets the help he needs. To be honest, Shepard, I thought this thing was going to end in a bloodbath. I don't know how you did it, but you saved a lot of lives. Congratulations. Great, but there's bigger concerns. I do not wish to hurt anyone in my way, but if it is deemed necessary, it will happen. Widget Cluster. Hades Camp, Avoid your Cluster. Yeah, that's where. Whoa, that was weird. That like gave me an instant headache.
I hope I'm ready for this. Yeah. Alright, we'll do the one right behind us. We'll save once we um, get this Prothean um, pyramid. Oh crap, spoiler, sorry. Well, that's not really spoilers, there's a Prothean Pyramid here. It, it simply says Prothean Pyramid. Oh yeah, there, I forgot there's rocket turret things on top of each one of these bases. These uh, Cerberus bases are actually fairly easy, which, to b believe it or not, is it, it was a major surprise to me when I actually figured that out. You to level. Alright. Our goal, let's, um... Unity. Which is always that one. So, five and six are generally what I'm gonna have are my more support ones on the uh, lower numbers because hopefully they won't be used as much. And they're they're actually harder to get. I don't know if you guys have ever seen a Razor Naga, but um, I have problems with seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve because my thumb is so big. Like my thumb is almost the length of the um, mouse itself, so like it starts cramping after a while. Um. If I start reaching down to those lower ones. Alright, first things first, let's um, make sure that we're, we have top of the line stuff on. Um, we need anti-personnel rounds. I think that's the best ones we have, yeah. Right, yeah. No, th that's armored piercing. That's anti-personnel. Right. Let's go ahead and save it here. So as you guys can see, there has there's been a lot of gameplay with no mic that I didn't really know. Alright, this is actually really dangerous. These guys aren't that hard. Unless you see lasers. Dead. Some more level two. No, I'm good for now. Good for now. Right, yeah. You have to be real.